I'm Fernando Montalegre. I'm the director of agronomy here at Tasteful Selections. We grow about 8,400 acres of potatoes and we are the premier specialty baby potato company. Overall, we increased our acres drastically, but just in the Bakersfield area, we increased almost 1,400 acres. But that means we end up harvesting a lot of potatoes. Some of the biggest challenge is the heat here in Bakersfield. Uh, it can be very detrimental. And then our winter crop, even though we're down in the Imperial Valley, uh, we still have frost risks. Basically, we start with our spring crop in Bakersfield, and from here we move up to Bishop on the side, you know, closer to Nevada. And then from there we move over to Stockton, California. From there we come back to Bakersfield for a fall crop. And from there we go back to the Arizona border. We grow there before we go into the Imperial Valley. And then we come right back into Bakersfield. So last year was a big switch. Uh, we switched from our uh, from the Grimmy SE machines, uh, which we I mean we're still running five of them, uh, the five that we had, but we actually purchased the Veritron to be able to accommodate those acres into the same time frame. It's a self-propelled as opposed to the uh, SE, so it uh, gives the operator a better a better view, which will allow him under the same conditions to do a better job and normally go a little faster. Uh, so we plant in beds instead of hills. You know, it takes uh, two beds at a time. So we were pretty sure that we were adding, you know, essentially adding two SEs to our five harvester fleet. But there was a couple of things that, you know, we knew we had potential to be a little better than two harvesters. The stability of the Veritron um, has been um, a very big benefit for us. Normally on an SE harvester, when you get full, you get a little top heavy. So if you're really full now and you're pushing to make it to the end of the field, now you're slowing down a little bit as the bunker fills up. And if you have the bunker up, you're really just waiting for the truck to come in to take the potatoes away. Um, the Veritron is, uh, has the option to unload on the go and it's a lot more stable. As you continue to fill this up, you can still go just as fast as you did without really worrying about the stability of the machine. And then the other thing where we actually gained a lot that we didn't foresee gaining uh, capacity was uh, on the turnarounds. You know, the Veritron looks really long when you look at it, but the crab steering of the machine, uh, we actually can turn better with the Veritron than we do with the tractor and full type SE machines. Uh, so we significantly reduce the amount of time that machine can make a sharper turn come back into its two rows and because the blade is, the position of the blade within the machines really allows you to get positioned right, you know, one trial. Normally, you know, when you get into the narrow headlands in some fields, it takes a little while for the tractor to bring the SE around and then, you know, it's not uncommon for it to have to back up a little bit, you know, and do like a two or three point turn to be able to get in and not lose any potatoes. Uh, and not run over any potatoes as you're dropping the machine into the right place. So uh, we actually, you know, we gain quality because you're not running over potatoes. Um, we gain potatoes that were not being harvested before. Um, and we gained a lot of time because we can make those turns. I mean, it really, it never stops. One of our bigger challenges was being able to add enough dollies to be able to keep it moving. So. That's made a, a huge difference for us to be able to get our harvest capacity up to the level where it needs to be. As a specialty product, anything that damages the skin or, or the skin finish for that matter uh, is an issue. As far as harvest is related, then yes, probably skinning is the, the biggest self-inflicted wound at that point where you can waste something that you've already put in all the work. You know, the, the ring elevator concept, I think it's a lot gentler. It's a, very, uh, it's a very simple way to get the potatoes back on top. For us in the baby potatoes, we do increments, you know, five millimeter increments, and we take um, our size nines are less than 20 millimeters. So every one of those uh, dirt separators 
was the source of loss, basically, uh, with the Veritron. We actually see that we retain a lot more potatoes with the Veritron of the smaller potatoes than we do with the SEs. I mentioned all the different places where we go uh, to harvest, so when we move, something that has helped us a lot is uh, the Veritron is fairly narrow, even though it takes two beds at a time, it's a fairly narrow machine, so, and it's self-propelled, so when we move, it takes one load. Now it's a, it's a big load with a specialty trailer, but it's one load. Um, and SC takes two loads. It takes one for, it takes a load bed for the harvester and then you still have to bring the tractor along. So every time you move, you're moving with one less truck. And really if you count the Veritron as two or maybe even three SEs, let's just call it two because you know you're over two, you're at least three in my opinion, uh, is what we've replaced. Um, you know, that's six loads compared to one. It's, uh, it, works, it works great, I mean, we're, that's why we're getting another one. <laughs>